Here at ASCO 2011 in San Diego, California, we have Yvonne Bossant with us. He is a resident at the Besancon University Hospital in France. Thanks for being with us, sir. Thank you very much. You want to apologize for your English, I'll apologize for my French, okay? Yeah. All right. So you presented a poster. It's titled, The Decision to Limit or Withdraw Specific Therapies for Advanced Cancer and Hematological Malignancies, Physicians and Patients' Point of View and Interactions. Very fascinating work you've done here. Um, what was the objective purpose of this study? Well, the results presented here uh, are part of a study uh, designed to assess the, the determinants and modalities of the decision whether to pursue or limit um, the specific therapies for advanced cancer patients. Um, so the purpose of this study was to um, highlight those determinants and uh, modalities in an observational study and to also assess um, patient self-involvement in those situations. How did you design this? So the study was designed in an um, observational, prospective, multi-center study, uh, which was uh, designed by a multidisciplinary team uh, made of physicians, uh, cancer physicians, palliative care physicians and psychologists. Uh, so during one week of hospitalization in the five centers, we screened all hospitalized patients and we included patients for whom a questioning about the pursuit or uh, limitation of treatments uh, existed. You got some very interesting results regarding how patients feel about their physicians and also what physicians would want to know about their patients. Can you tell us more? So it appears that um, what is relevant for the decision uh, in the physician side is of course his experience and knowledge about the disease his relationship with the patient and uh, what kind of interaction they have, uh, communication skills of both, and also subjective determinants um, concerning the physician, um, meanings that uh, his representations and his emotional aspects are very important in his decision. And in the patient side, uh, what is most relevant is um, his uh, experiencing of the disease and his emotions too, his expectations in this end of life period and his communication skills and the uh, relationship frame with the physician. Now the patients seem to have a higher level of awareness as to what's going on with them and what their options are and they also seem to show a great deal of confidence in their physicians with this yes. decision, don't yeah, they? Exactly. When, when we interviewed um, the patients and when we compared uh, what they said with uh, what physicians said we really noticed that uh, uh, physicians underestimated often underestimated patient awareness of their situation so meaning that patients were very aware of uncertainties uh, difficulties to treat them and very aware some so in a uh, one third of the case of the fact that they will probably die of their cancer um, relatively soon. Um, what we noticed too was um, the high confidence uh, of the patients toward their uh, physicians. And what they often don't know is that uh, the physician don't know either. Uh, doesn't know, sorry. Uh, the physician doesn't know what is the best decision for the patient. Yvonne, I think what's safe to say here is that you've done a very courageous look at a difficult decision no one wants to make. Yeah, exactly. Neither physician, neither patient wants to make the, this decision. And there are really great communicational issues in this situation. And that's what we aim in this study, is to highlight some of the most difficulties, uh, more difficult uh, aspects of the situation um, in order to help physicians to consider all aspects of the situation uh, and to, to make the uh, less worst uh, decision as possible. Yvonne Bossant, resident at Bassan Khan University Hospital in France, joining us here on Ankeview at ASH 2011 in San Diego, California.